Hey, Shazam 15 here. And to give you a clue for this week's review, it is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it is the review of the film New Year's Eve. Now, ironically, I watched this on New Year's Day. About 5 o'clock, so by New York time, that would be round about midday when some of the characters would be getting back in. Right. Now, this film itself is completely lacklustre. The idea behind it is to do something cinematically a bit like the brilliant film... Oh, what's the name of the brilliant film? It's not like it. Well, it's not like it instead of the Christmasy one. Love Actually, that's it. That's the bunny. Right, so it's basically a really poor, poor, poor attempt at doing something a bit like Love Actually. It was made by the same people who brought you Valentine's Day, which I've never seen, but they do pull up a reference to Valentine's Day in the film. Right, now. What was I saying? Yes. Really lackluster. The I feel the need to point to an address a point that bugs me. In the film it is stated that the whole world or people all over the world, more correctly, watch New Year's Eve in Times Square. That's just not right. The reason why it's not right is because New Year's Eve watching Times Square's New Year's Eve party makes sense in America. The reason why it makes sense is it's one of the first time zone it's in one of the first time zones that goes through the new year. Anywhere else it doesn't make any sense. The reason why is because it's New Year's Day everywhere else. In fact, it's so much New Year's Day, most people who have been drinking are over their hangovers and the people who have really, really been drinking have just gotten home. It's that unbelievably it's five hours behind GMT which means that it's well over. In fact, in the first time zone, which now includes Samoa, it is five o'clock in the afternoon. That's how late it is. So, you know, it's five o'clock in the afternoon on the 1st of January by the time it's midnight in the US. So, really not something that really happens. America is not the center of the world, contrary to what their maps show. Basically, it is a so far back that no one really pays that much attention to it in terms of what actually goes on. We have to stay... No one wants to stay up on New Year's Eve. No one wants to stay up on New Year's Day to watch New Year's Eve in New York. Okay, rant over. Because that's probably taking two minutes. <laughs> right. The actual film. We had... The casting was interesting in some places, downright appeasing in others, where you're just going... Gee, I wonder who they put that one in there for. Basically, all in all, the actors are rather poor. And, yeah. The cameo of Matthew Broderick was vaguely entertaining. And the reason why it was vaguely entertaining was they decided to chuck a Ferris Bueller reference in it by calling the gentleman Mr. Buellerton. There's a definite reference there. Sarah Jessica Parker pulls off the role reasonably well of the downtrodden single mother who's just trying to look out for her kid, played by that girl who you will recognise from Definitely Maybe, but back when she back then she was cute. Now she's getting older. It's disturbing. It's just wrong. She shouldn't get older. Um Right well wait, doesn't maybe do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker plays this role all the way through, but 
when there's less than five minutes to go she turns back into Carrie from Sex and the Sea it's really just the I, I can't believe they did that really oh it's one of those moments However, what I will give this film is it's very good at giving people false leads and dead ends. It's quite nice in that. There are bits where you think the story is going to intersect there, however it intersects there. It's very nicely put together in that sense. But overall, it's just... It doesn't hold up to its competitor. And, you know, its predecessor... They even joke about by having it in the outtake credits. But yeah, overall, it's not so great. It's nice enough to watch on the night when you're drunk, probably. I don't know, I don't get drunk myself, but... But, you know, it's not a brilliant film. That's my opinion, anyway. And remember, in New York, you are not the center of the world. Sorry if it offended any Americans, but it had to be said. Anyway, see you later.